kill me boss I, I can offer you something else but please don't do this the other members who were standing there scoffed while their boss leaned forward playing with his gun do you think you have something that is worth three million dollars that you took away don't listen to him boss just shoot and over his game I'm feeling like distorting his face. The man looked at the boss who was still silent and shook his head. I have something. My wife. If you want it, you can take her as a payment. His hand stopped in the middle as he lifted up his eyes to look at that man. Jimin couldn't control himself anymore and he threw a punch on that man's jaws, making his mouth bleed. He started to cough but Jimin didn't stop and grabbed his collar. You are a shitty man. You deserve to die. He looked at the boss. You're still waiting to end him. What's up with you? You're wasting your time for this piece of... Leave him. Jimin frowned as he couldn't understand clearly what he was saying. What? Jungle got up and walked near the man. His eyes were only fixed on him. I said leave him. Jimin scoffed and looked at him. Are you serious? He wanted to say something more but then paused when Jungkook gave him a deadly stare. Jimin let go of that man's collar and stepped back. Jungkook again shifted his gaze to that man. Again, what were you saying? That man swallowed before speaking. I can offer you my wife in return and till I pay you your money, you can keep her. You can do whatever you want with her. She will please you in every way that you want. Jimin tried not to throw another punch and kill him instead of waiting for Jungkook to do that. But he couldn't hear all this and the fact that Jungkook was doing nothing making him more mad. He walked out from there. And why you want to do that? She's your wife, right? Because I don't love her. Then why did you marry her? It was an arranged marriage and I only agree just because of her father's money and I don't mind offering her to you. Please leave me. No one knows what's going inside Jungkook's head. Mark was shocked that Jungkook is just letting this bastard talk like this. Okay then. You have less than an hour to give her to me. One extra minute and you will be dead. Mark looked at his boss, shocked. Jungkook walked towards his car while the man sighed in relief getting his life back from Mark of death. Boss, what are you saying? He stopped when he met Jungkook's cold eyes. They both sat inside the car and drove off. Finally you are of some use. Thank you for saving my life once again but you have to sacrifice yourself for this dear wifey. He chuckled and sat inside his car before dropping off. He jerked his hand harshly freeing your arm from his grip. Where are you taking me? He came near you and grabbed your chin harshly making it hurt. How many times have I told you not to question her? You're seriously annoying. He grabbed your wrist and dragged you outside. I'm taking you to the place you rightfully belongs to. 
You never thought that the guy you got married to would turn out to be a complete monster. He has no humanity and he can do anything for his selfishness. He took millions of dollars from your father and when he denied to give him money, he started beating you and forcefully used you against your will. You never thought life would become a hell for you just like this. I never thought you would end up making such a decision in life. Exactly what is going on in your mind? Jungkook looked irritated. You better watch your words. I'm not saying anything doesn't mean I'll let you cross your boundaries. It would be better if you leave me alone for some time. There is no one who can even talk in front of Jungkook if they truly love their lives. But Jimin is like a brother to Jungkook and he has served him his loyalty for years. Jimin always tried to give better advice to him because Jungkook often doesn't care about right or wrong. If a thing is not according to his liking, he ends it. He has suffered from a very difficult childhood where he lost his family. There was no one to guide him and tell him the difference between right and wrong. He did what he thought was right even if it's wrong universally. He is the master of his own rules. That lonely childhood where he never got anyone's love and experienced the disturbing things, his mind has affected in several ways. He ended up being the most dangerous mafia because he thinks it's right to punish those who are not right. He lit up a cigarette and leaned back. Children sighed and left from there but stopped when he saw Mark. Liu is here with his wife. Jimin looked back at Jungkook and then looked at Mark. I think I shouldn't stay here. And he left from there. Mark sighed and came inside. Boss, he's here. Jungkook lifted up his head. He saw Leo coming inside. I kept my promise to you, boss. He walked outside and brought you with him. You were completely shocked to see how low he has dropped. Jungkook sat straight when his eyes fell on you. Your teary eyes and pale face did something inside him. You were looking at Leo without caring about the people around you. Please give me some time, boss. Monster, you are a monster and I wish you'd never be able to live. You were so hurt. Leo looked at you gritting his teeth. He was calming himself because he knew he can't say anything to you at this moment. Boss, now please let me go. Chungo got up before sliding his hands inside his pockets. Sure, you can surely leave, but before that, let me thank you for such a beautiful gift. Leo frowned being confused while Mark handed him a gun. Look, boss. You know that I hate unloyal people, especially who betray someone who doesn't deserve to. And now that your dear wife says she doesn't want you to live, I need to fulfill her wish because now she's something to me. He pointed his gun at Leo while he shook his head. His body started shaking. I did what I said boss, you can't do this. You were a little shocked by this but then you actually hate Leo for making your life like this and if he has to give up on his life just because of his own deeds, you won't mind it.
Before you could do anything, Jungkook pulled the trigger, making a scream left from your mouth. You covered your ears and closed your eyes tightly. You dropped on the floor lifeless. Jungkook ordered Mark to clean that up. Mark dragged his body outside while Jungkook walked near you. He was very much disturbed after seeing you. There was a flood of emotions inside his heart that even if he doesn't know what's happening to him, it's like you're the woman he has seen in his dreams. He doesn't understand why he was feeling like he was looking for someone just like you. Are you happy now? You slowly removed your hands from your ear and opened your eyes to look at him. Right now you were terrified. No one can hurt you anymore. You don't know why he was talking like that but one thing you were sure about was that you can't trust this man. I wanna go home. This is your home from now on. Don't go back to that world which is full of unloyal and monstrous people. You don't know why your eyes filled up. You don't know who he is but his words did made a place in your heart. You squeezed your eyes and opened them slowly. It was completely unfamiliar room and you had no idea how you ended up here. You made yourself sit on the bed and leaned your body against the headboard. A tear slid down from your eyes to your cheeks. You really pity yourself for living like this. You let a man destroy your life. You let your father forcefully arrange your marriage to any random guy just because he doesn't love you and was ashamed to be called your father because you were adopted. Your passion, aim, goals, everything ended up and you just ended up becoming a living dead. You were somehow feeling relieved to know that now he's no more in this world but it doesn't mean things ended here. You don't even have any idea how you'll gonna make yourself out from the here and even if you do, how are you gonna live? You literally forgot everything. You are not even sure whether you want to live or not. You removed the blanket and got up. You wanted to go out of this room but then again sat on the bed. Right then the door opened and you saw Jungkook coming inside. You are well aware how dangerous this man is. He killed your so-called husband in front of you but still you are not afraid of him. Now, the amount of toxic people you were surrounded with, he seems nothing in compared to them. Is he the one who gave you all those brushes? You quickly covered yourself with your hands while he put the box of medications on the nightstand and looked at you. I don't see anything. You have that on your arms and hands too. He sat on the bed at a little distance. If I knew this before, I wouldn't have given him an easy death. Are you different from him? He only looked at you for some time. He knew how hurt you must be and maybe you would be thinking of him just like your husband. No, I don't hurt innocent people. You closed your eyes as tears fell down. Doesn't matter. His hands raised as he wanted to hug you at this moment but he doesn't. It's not right, at least not to him.
He may indeed be a mafia, but not as cruel as people think. He has suffered badly from his childhood, and now that he has created his own world where he is the one to decide what's wrong and right, his heart is still not that bad. He is running so many NGOs for such helpless children who lose their parents at young age and then this world makes them miserable. They never get love from anyone and are often mistreated. He never wants those poor children to suffer like him. I wish I had made myself stronger. I feel pathetic because I didn't even stand for myself because you are too good to be living in between those monsters. You slowly lift up your head and looked at him. You are a mafia, right? He was confused by a sudden question but still he nodded. Why are you feeling bad for me? We don't even know each other. Does it matter? There is a silence for a few seconds. If you see closely, we are same. You hate people and I do that to the extreme that I don't mind killing them. You never get to protect yourself but I am here willing to protect you for the rest of the life. Isn't it enough for you to believe that you can trust me? Why do you want to protect me? It was weird how you started getting comfortable with him in no time. Maybe because no one ever treated you the way he was treating you. This is what you wanted to feel like from the start. This is what you thought an ideal relationship should be like. Even though you don't have any relationship with Jungkook right now. The reason that you guys got together in no time because it was connection of heart somehow. You were similar but the difference was you were still there trying to be the best for those who behave worst and he created his own world and become the strongest. Have some more? You shook your head. I'm full. I can't eat anymore. He was admiring you as you were eating the food. This was the first time you ate until you felt satisfied. The fact that monster is not alive anymore has it relieved you. You love eating? You nodded still eating. He smiled and sat down. He wanted to erase each and every horrible memory from your mind but he knew it's not that easy. Jimin walked inside and he was a little surprised to see you and Jungkook. He was looking at you with a soft smile plastered on his face while you were eating. It was really surprising for Jimin. He has never seen him being so soft towards anyone except those children and now he understood the whole thing. He felt bad for thinking him wrong. Jungkook noticed him. Oh, Jimin, come. You lift up your face and turn to look at the guy Jungkook just called. He smiled at you softly as you slightly bowed your head in reply. What brought you here? Jimin looked at him and smiled. I just missed you. He chuckled. That's new. When I eat ramen, I prepared a lot. Jimin looked at you who were feeling a little uncomfortable or you could say nervous because you still don't go well around new people. I heard about that bastard. You did right. Jungkook's lip curled up in a smile as this was the first time Jimin told him that he did something right. You made me happy, Hyun. Then he looked at you. He's Jimin, the only person who never left my side since we met. And just like that, I will not leave your side.